There are three different types of P leads, primary types. <clears throat> the first is the Bendix hex nut. You can see here relative to my finger how big this is. The, the nut is hex shaped here. Um, the insulator is about an inch long and about three eighths of an inch in diameter. And this inserts into the back of the magneto and then the nut tightens down onto the, the stud coming out of the back of the mag. So this is the contact. It connects inside the magneto. Now this is found predominantly on Bendix magnetos. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of types of magnetos that this type of P-lead might connect to. The other end of the P-lead has ring connectors. Uh, the white lead here with the blue connector on it is the wire that attaches to the switch. And the black lead, this is actually shielding inside this black shrink tube, the black lead is the ground side, the shielding uh, that attaches uh, to, the magnet, to the mag switch as well and then from there it goes to the airframe ground. So that's the Bendix hex. The other Bendix style we refer to as the Bendix round nut. Now you notice that the nut is in fact round in shape and has serrations on it to make gripping it easier. Uh, the insulator is much smaller, uh, much smaller in diameter and it's much shorter. Again this inserts into the back of the magneto and then the nut tightens down on the stud. Uh, the other end again has the ring connectors that attach to the magneto switch. I'll show you an example of a mag switch. Okay, so here's the relative dif difference between the, the Bendix hex nut and the Bendix round nut. Quite a bit of difference. Uh, it just depends on the magneto that they, they fit into. The other end of the leads are exactly the same with the ring connectors and the, the two wires. The third style we refer to as a slick style. Now the difference is you have ring connectors on both ends. The slick magnetos don't uh, take a, a plug that inserts into the back of the magneto. The magneto actually has a screw or a stud sticking out that the ring connector attaches to and then and then the black lead connects to a screw on the side of the magneto and that's how how they ground it. The other end of the P lead for the slick style has two ring connectors the same as all the rest. So the difference between the three styles is really whether we have ring connectors that attach to the magneto which this could attach to a slick magneto virtually all the slick magnetos are this way but some Bendix magnetos are also set up to receive this kind of peely. And then there's the Bendix hex, the large hex nut and the Bendix round nut. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about the Bendix round nut a minute. Um, most of the Bendix mags that take the round nut will have two posts on the back, two holes on the back of the magneto. Uh, one takes this nut, the other one is set up for a shower of sparks ignition. The nut looks very much like this, in fact they look almost identical except that uh, the thread size and pitch is different. So you, you can't interchange them. 
Anyway, um, so some magnetos you'll see two uh, screwed into the mag. Now, <clears throat> all aircraft engines, uh, piston engines, are set up to have two magnetos. Uh, the idea is that one magneto fires one spark plug for each cylinder and the other magneto fires another spark plug for each cylinder. So you have a 100% backup, a redundancy, uh, for your ignition. So if one spark plug fails or one spark plug lead fails or one magneto fails, the engine will still run off of the other one. So you will have a P lead that attaches to one mag, so let's say the left mag, you'll have another one that will attach to the right mag. Now, that's usually the case where you actually have two magnetos. Um, in the case of the Bendix D2000, D3000 series magnetos, there are magneto that has a single drive, but it has two magnetos built into the same housing. I'm going to show you a picture of, of what one of those magnetos looks like. Okay, so the, the terminals that connect to the D2000 look just like the Bendix round nut style. There is a difference though in that the insulator itself is a little shorter for the D2000 and D3000 series magnetos. Otherwise, it's essentially the same system. It's going to look very much the same. So if you have one of those magnetos that is one of the dual configurations, two magnetos in one, I'll show you another picture of that. Then you need to tell us that you've got a D2000 or D3000 series, a dual mag, and we'll make sure to use the proper insulators when setting up the P-leads.